Listen, you go to a bar and things can get a little nuts, you know what I'm saying? But nothing is more nuts than this bar. Look. So I got the bar made up, feeling squirrely. Got my left roof support. Got my right roof support. Got my fancy base plate. Got all my pieces to make my silo and my roof. Fuck myself a little mark here so that I know where to place the bar and as well where to place the silos. Let's get building. I love this guy. He built a nut bar for squirrels. No Look at that. No way. This guy's got too much time on his hands. No, he doesn't. He's awesome. Michael Duco built this bar for neighborhood squirrels in his backyard in Ohio. <laughs> the woodworker put seven varieties of nuts on tap at his nutty bar, uh -huh. including peanut pilsner, almond ale, walnut stout. There's a bathroom sign with a sign that says nuts and no nuts. Ooh. Get it? Did you have to think about that one for a second? <laughs> oh, man. Duco said he built the bar to preoccupy the squirrels so his neighbor could bird watch easier. Look at how nice of him. Oh, it took okay. him eight hours to design and build the bar, just a full day's work. He's actually gotten such an overwhelming response that he applied for a patent and is planning to launch a business to sell the nutty bar for about 200 bucks. 200 bucks. I was thinking it was a little nutty there, but then uh, you explained that he was helping out his neighbor there. So I kind of like that story. And now. you know people love bird feeders and all that stuff. So <laughs> I think that's cool. He is very handy. We'll say that. Ladies, he's like 35. Maybe he's single. He's yeah. crafty with the hands, that's for sure. <laughs>